Creating good looking and actually converting landing pages is one of the most important parts of creating a successful Shopify store. But when it comes to the default page creator inside Shopify, you are basically going to be limited to adding either text, images or videos, which obviously isn't going to get you anywhere. So in today's tutorial, I will show you step by step on how to actually build up converting and good looking landing pages using an app called Instant. With Instant, you are getting a super nice drag and drop editor, tons of different templates which you can use to get started out with and also a super affordable pricing structure, even allowing you to get started for completely free. So to get started, head over to the link down below, which will redirect you onto this page where you can then actually install the Instant app onto your Shopify store. Once again, you can get started for completely free with their free plan. So just click on install right here and then sign up for an account. So let's get started by creating our first project. Just click on create new project right here and we can then put in our project title as well as the industry. In my case, I'm just going to put in Argon Pads Remade as we are going to actually rebuild a landing page for a mouse pads provider. So let's just click on create project and then connect this onto the correct Shopify store. You can also import the brand styles and like this instant is essentially going to grab all of the fonts and colors which you have been using and is then going to use that inside your designs. So just click on connect with Shopify right here. And then we will have to select how we would like to get started. Now we can either start from scratch or we can choose a template. Both of these options has its upside. For example, if you really do want to build up something completely new, which no one ever has done before, then you can get started from scratch. However, otherwise, if you are just starting out and if it's your first time using Instant, I would actually recommend you to start with a template. Because Instant does offer quite a lot of different templates and in my opinion, basically all of them look way better than any Shopify store which I've ever seen. So right here on the top, we can then select the kind of template which we want to look for. So either section, pages, product or block can be selected. I'm going to get started with pages as we are going to build up a landing page. And right here, we can then view all of the different landing page templates available. We can then actually hard them to save them for later, or we can actually look at these, we can get a preview and so on. Now, one thing which is important to notice is that uh, Instant, I think, in the last couple of months actually added a new feature onto their landing page builder, onto their site builder essentially, called the grid. With this grid feature, you're going to have a website builder which is going to work essentially like Squarespace, Wix and so on, in a way where you can just simply drag and drop anything onto Instant and you can then just drag it around, you can resize it and so on. And generally speaking, I would actually recommend you to get started with a template which is going to have this grid function. Because this honestly is a great feature for building up your landing page. So in this case, I'm actually going to go for this smart ring landing page template right here and just choose the template which is going to fit your overall style the best and you can then still later on fully tweak it and fully customize it to your likings. So I'm going to select that right here. Now, once we are inside the editor, this is going to work fairly similar to tools like Framer or Figma in a way where on the top you are going to see all of your different kind of breakpoints. So make sure to always double check how your website is going to look on mobile, for example, but you can also view tablet, um, you can view a laptop right here and you can view the full desktop view as well. Now, now on the left, we can then add new elements right here. This could be either stuff like templates or we can actually also add elements from scratch like grids, columns, rows, text and so on. You can all see it right here. We can then actually also view all of the pages inside our instant account. So if we would, for example, want to add new product template, we can then actually also create that inside right here simply by just clicking on add product template. We can then actually also view all of the components. So this would be stuff which you can then actually reuse inside your Shopify store. We can view our brand styles. So if you are going to have a certain kind of color uh, theme or a certain text style which you have been using make sure to add that right here. Like this, this is then going to be reused and you can basically reuse the color styles and the text for your designs. And if you ever do want to go back and actually change this, this is automatically going to update everywhere. Under the assets right here, we can basically find all of our images, all of our stuff, all of our assets, which have been uploaded onto this 
this exact page. So let's get started with this first hero section, this right here. So I'm just going to select it. The first thing which I do want to change is I do want to simply just delete this next drop text right here as well as 2025. I don't think this is really necessary for this. And let's actually now get started by changing the background. To do so, simply just select the element which you do want to change. So I'm just selecting it. And once you've selected it on the right, you can then view the style settings as well as the general settings right here. You can of course also connect certain elements to a certain product inside Shopify, but more on that in just a second. For now, head back to style and under fill, I'm simply just going to delete this and I'm going to add my own custom image onto this. So as you can see, I've now added this mouse pad as a background. I'm going to change the heading accordingly. And also, uh, let's actually change it to Argon pads. Um, you can actually also use the AI features inside Instant to help you with copywriting and so on. And one thing which I do want to mention right away, with this drag and drop editor, with the grid, you can then basically just drag around all of the elements depending on how you do want to structure them. So I just want to have the Buy Now button a little bit tighter. And let's then actually also connect this Buy Now button onto our mouse pad product inside Shopify. To do so, simply just select it, head over to settings on the top right and connect this onto a product. In this case, I'm just going to actually connect it onto my normal mousepad product right here. So just select it right here. You can of course choose any kind of product or collection which you want to, but I'm just going to choose that right here. We can al then also select a default variant and this can of course also be changed later on, but I'm just going to choose this for now. Okay, perfect. Let's now actually also change the text. Let's realign this something like this, or let's actually also make this a little bit shorter. So I'm just going to delete this right here. As you can see now the button has been, I don't know what's happening here. So let's actually also resize the button. Something like this looks good. We can then change the spacing around. We can of course also change this right here above. So I'm just going to change this to limited mouse pads. Perfect. So let's now actually get to the next section. This next section is going to display all of the upsides of using this certain kind of product inside our landing page. Of course, uh, you can actually also build up landing pages for collections and for whatever you want, but I'm just going to go with this example right now. So first things first, let's actually get started by replacing this product image right here with our own one. So I'm just going to first of all, once again, delete the image right here under the style settings, add a new one. And we can then play around with this right here. Now we can first of all make it a little bit bigger. So let's actually see how this looks like. Yeah, I think something like this would actually look pretty good. Let's actually preview this by heading over to preview on the top right. Okay, so as you can see, I think we will probably have to change up the spacing of these ones right here a little bit. So let's actually do that. So let's preview this now. And I think like this, this does look way better. Of course, if this would be my actual landing page, I would take some more time on, on this and actually maybe change up the spacing, see how it looks like. Maybe something like this will look better. Let's get into it. Yeah, I think it's something like this would be an improvement. Now, I would obviously take some more time actually customizing this. I just want you to actually get an overview on how you can fully change everything inside right here. So for example, to change the icon right here, we can also easily do that by simply just right here changing it. So under the icon right here, we can then view a lot of different icons which we have available. So let's say one upside of this mousepad is the ultra fast type of actually using it. I don't know. So I'm just going to put in a lightning. And I'm just going to say insane mouse speed, okay? And we can then drag this back right here. And we can then actually go ahead and change this for all of the different elements right here, for all of, all of the other stuff. We can change this icon right here and so on. But for now, I think this section right here actually does look good. Let's, yeah, let's, let's just keep it at that for now. Now, one thing which I would recommend you to do after every section is to then actually display how it is going to look like on mobile. So in this case, this is how, it's how it is going to look like. Now, if we are, for example, going to change this right here on mobile, so let's, for example, make this small on mobile, just to show you this. And this is only going to be for the mobile section. If we are going to head back to the desktop, this is going to work completely normal. So this is something important to keep in mind. If you are going to customize this on mobile, this is only going to be visible for mobile. If you are going to customize this for tablet, it is going to be visible for tablet and mobile. So it just works kind of um, in a hierarchy matter. Okay. Now let's actually now continue with the next section, this available in free metals. So what do we want to display right here? Well, let's for example, just say that we do have three different colors for this mouse pad, which would be the case. And I'm just going to put in available in 
contain three different colors. We can then actually right here change the image once again. So I've now added the three color variants. We can then of course also customize this. So let's for example make this right here in the middle a little bit taller. I think this would actually look look relatively good. So let's actually look into this. Yeah, I think something like this actually also adds a nice touch to it. Yeah, I think I would actually prefer this one right here over actually having all of these container sizes equal. Now, right here we do have a side-by-side -side comparison of the two product options. So I'm also going to do that and I'm going to once again change the image and I'm going to just speed this up for you just so that I don't waste your time. Okay, so one thing important right here, I've actually set the sizing as fill so that we don't have this kind of blank space on the right and on the left. And I've then actually also set the focus on the bottom right here so that we do have this text right here visible inside the image. I'm then also going to add a style onto this. I'm going to add a border and I'm going to add the radius right here of 20. So this kind of border radius right here gives this a nice kind of edge, okay? So I'm then going to repeat this with the other image as well. And you can then of course change the text right here by simply just selecting it. You can do the same with the price, with the icons and by now you probably can see that this is a super intuitive way of building up your landing page. But let me actually also show you how to add other pre-made sections onto your Shopify store, onto this landing page right here. To do so, head over to the plus on the left and right here you're going to see all sorts of different templates. Make sure to open up the template library and right here we can then view the section templates. This is going to give us an overview of all of the different sections available which we can then actually all use for our store. As you can see the, this is also going to include the aura ring templates but there are also going to be a lot of other templates available right here so I'm just going to quickly look through these and I'm actually going to add this testimonial section onto this and but we will have to actually customize this right here so I'm going to change the film and I'm going to actually change it to black. I'm going to then actually select the text right here. I think the actual font does work. I think this is the same one uh, being used on all over this landing page, but I'm going to change the text color right here to, let's just go with white, I guess, or well, yeah, let's just go with white in this case. And we can now actually add testimonials onto this. So let me actually go over this right here on the official Argon Pets website. We do have these testimonials as well. So I'm just going to quickly copy them onto instant. And if we would want to, we can now actually repeat this with slide two, slide three, and so on. So I'm now going to actually delete this one right here. Make sure to, of course, link all of the buy now buttons correctly to the correct product. Make sure to link everything inside Shopify. And once you're done, you can then actually go ahead and preview this site. In this case, I think this looks honestly banging. You can see that the animations are going to work. I obviously haven't uh, updated these, but this is going to work perfectly fine. We can also see all of the different colors. We can see this kind of animation right here and so on. We can then actually also view this on mobile and this also does look really good. Now of course make sure to update everything accordingly but I honestly think that this is super nice. So let's actually get started by publishing this onto our store. In this case we will simply just have to enable the app embedding inside Shopify. So I'm just going to enable that right here on the left. Make sure to then save this. Click on verify and publish. We can now view the page and this is going to be live. We can see everything inside right here. This is going to work perfectly fine. Let's actually check the buy now button. So, okay, actually this one doesn't work. So let's get back to this and let's actually view what we did wrong right here. So buy now, interaction. Um, let's actually see if we, okay, let's actually head over to interactions. Let's click on go to link and let's actually now redirect this and let's reconnect this onto this liquid control product right here. So I'm just going to head over to catalog. I'm going to select liquid control. I'm going to copy this and I'm going to then simply just insert this. So let's now actually publish this. And we're now actually viewing this. We can click on buy now and this is going to correctly redirect us. Okay, perfect. Make sure to always double check this before actually publishing your site. But other than that, as you can see, this looks really good. So I would highly recommend you to create your landing page with instant right now. You can use my link down below to support me for completely free whilst doing so. Either way, I will see you in the next one.